Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be doing is creating a nighttime scene, this is a basic night scene, inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now this is very different to how it was in Unreal Engine 4, which is why I'm creating a video on it today. So what we're going to do is change our scene from looking like this to default to this instead. So as you can see it looks a whole lot nicer, it's now a night scene for what you want and this is very easy to customise as well to change it to look how you want it to actually look. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. So the basic scene that we're going to be creating today is actually very very simple to set up and only requires a few changes. So the way they've changed it from Unreal Engine 4 to 5 makes it a lot quicker and more simple to customise, however to get to the same level of customization, you have to do a bit of extra work. So in Unreal Engine 4 what you could do is just click on the sky and change down the settings down here, including the sun height obviously, but you'll see this is now a static mesh instead of a blueprint so we can no longer do that. So instead what we need to do is just deselect it, so select anywhere else in our level, for example I'm just going to middle click, then if we were to hold Control L and move our mouse, you can see that we're now changing the sun height like this instead, which I think this is much much more user friendly and easy to see where the sun is going to be coming from and the light direction and all that great stuff. So this is what we've got instead. So you can obviously just move this about to get it where you want. I think for me I'm going to have it something like this. So it's not completely pitch black underneath the world but it's just going to be just above like a sunset there. Because the benefit of this as well is you can just make the sun look like the moon. So we've now got this here. You'll notice this looks really nice for a sunset level however that's not the look we're going for. Now there's not really many other steps from this. What we're going to do is select the directional light in the outliner up in the top right here. Then we're going to go down until we find the light colour. Click that and just change this to whatever colour you want. So you can change it to a nice yellowy orange if you want something along those lines or red if you really wanted. But what I'm going to do is choose a nice blue because normally nighttime is more of a bluish colour because it's cold and all that great stuff there. You can really get into the details of why colours matter in games but for a night scene we're going to want something quite blue. Not too dark, not too light, something quite nice in the middle like that. You can obviously search for nighttime blue hex code if you wanted but for me I'm just going to do that nice and simple. Now you notice this looks more like a night scene now. However it's a bit too bright and a bit too dark in some areas. So what I'm going to do is change the intensity down from 3 to maybe 1. You'll notice now the sky is a lot darker so we'll notice when it's 3 it's too bright, when it's 1 it's nice and dark for the sky. However everything else is now pitch black obviously. So what we're going to do is select the skylight and change the intensity scale from here from 1 to let's say 3 and you'll notice it's now the rest of this here is getting a bit brighter so it needs to be maybe 5 like so. So you'll notice the sky stayed the same brightness so it's still as dark but the rest of the level is lighting up a little bit. And I imagine you'll probably give the player a flashlight or something along those lines as well and you can obviously mess about with the exposure, all these different settings to make it brighter and easier to see for the player if that's what you wanted. And you can obviously change the light colour of the skylight as well if you really wanted to do that, but I think white is probably going to be the best, unless you wanted to keep it blue as well, like so, which also works quite nicely. Now if you wanted to add stars into the sky, I believe the only way to do that now is to change the static mesh of the sky sphere to a custom one which you've created. Now I'm not going to be going into the details of that today, however if you do want me to create a video of creating custom skyboxes, do let me know in the comments down below and I will go over creating that, because again that's a bit of a longer tutorial so I'm not going to be doing that today, but again let me know if that's what you want. But I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we want to do, we've created a very basic night scene, so again it's not as easy to get to the same level of customization as for, but to create a basic scene and customizable like this, it's a lot more simple, it's basically two things, we held Control L to move the position of the sun like this, or for me now it's a moon. We changed the colour of it, changed the intensity, and also changed the intensity of the sky sphere as well, or the sunlight, sorry, the skylight, so that we've now got a much brighter scene here, but with a darker sky. So you'll notice we've now got something which looks a little bit like this. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.